Hi, I'm Abby Frankmont, and you're back with me today to discuss how to get started with a low roll spindle with no hook or notch and how to, how to do half hitches. You'll see that there is, in fact, no hook or notch. This is a pretty basic spindle. It's a stick with a weight on it, and that's all there is. It's kind of our lowest common denominator thing. So I'm going to show you how I get started. First, I'm going to just put the spindle down, and I'm going to take this green fiber that I've got here, and I'm going to just pull out a little bit, and I'm just twisting in my hand. You can see I'm just twisting in my hands to make a little bit of a length of, of yarn to use for a leader when, we, when we're getting this started. So now I've got a length of yarn. It's about, uh, about a foot or so. It's kind of a distance, the neutral distance when my elbows are at my sides and my hands are out in front of me straight. My shoulders are relaxed, so that's kind of the distance we've got. That's enough to use as our leader. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to just wrap this a couple of times around the spindle just to kind of get it holding on there. See, if you don't hold on to the end, then stuff slips and drifts. So uh, you can tie it at this point if you want to. I'm usually lazy and I just wrap it over itself a few times. Now I'm gonna be twirling at a 45 degree angle up the spindle shaft, as you can see. Right here, when this boings off the tip, I can just spin. If I'm gonna spin in supported mode, that's what I would probably do. But if I wanna spin suspended, AKA a drop spindle, then I want to have uh, I want to have this secured so that I can drop it because if I drop it right now everything will just come off. So to do that, I shift my grip so I'm up here. I'm holding up here by the tip of the shaft, kind of like that, and then I shift my grip, bring my thumb out, come over, make sure that this crosses, touch this to the tip of the shaft, and tug, and that half hitch will slide off onto there. I like to do this twice. I like to do this twice so that we've got something that's going to hold real well. So what about removing these half hitches? Because you have to remove them to wind your yarn down lower on the spindle shaft. Uh, the easiest way to do it is ju to just come in with your fiber holding hand and grab where your half hitches are and then twist the spindle shaft so that then those 45 degree spirals come loose and you get the slack and then that just pulls right off. And now you unwind, come down, wind on, lower down, closer to the whirl, shift when you have about that foot and come back up and we'll do those half hitches one more time this way. Now we'll do it with the other hand. Now with the other hand we're going to spiral up the spindle shaft until we feel this yarn come in contact with our fingers up at the tip, shift our grip the same way, bring our thumb from above, flip over we see that we've got this cross right there. Place the thumb on the tip of the shaft and let our half hitch slide off. And this can be very fast, as you can see. And now that we have our yarn secured to our spindle, we can, we can just let go, AKA drop it or spin in suspended mode. And that's how we go. Again, I'm Abby Frankemont. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you very much.